We're talking about the administration of President Muhammad Buhari and its focus on cyber crimes and the abuse of technology uh, through hate speech and divisive materials. Let's discuss this further. With me is Information System Analyst Ade Bowale Owoshini. Welcome to TVC News. Oh, thank you. Uh, listening to the president speak about uh, his focus on cyber crimes yesterday and its uh, capacity to enhance hate speech. Help us understand how serious this concern is. Um, I think we need to put this in proper perspective. Um, I think there is a difference between cybercrime and abuse of, of technology. There are two distinct things. But going to talk about cybercrime, okay, so what exactly is cybercrime? It's the use of um, computers and network to commit crime, okay? And now, um, there are three main actors when you talk about cybercrime. You talk about the cyber criminals, you talk about the law enforcement agents, and then you talk about the casualties. Okay, so um, looking at these three dimensions, uh, we could actually control cybercrime at each of these levels. All right, but when one wants to focus on nationhood, and the use of the social media space. There's this general conception that you can get away with just anything by saying just whatever you want to say on the social media. And it appears that's what President Buhari is trying to uh, work on or curb now. But then, looking at the power one has on the social media, what are the limitations? I mean, can you get away with just anything? Um. I don't think we have sufficient, um, um, can I call it law now, to, to help us um, curb that. that. That seems to be very, very kind of elusive, okay? So yeah, there is no clarity between what, um, what constitutes crime in the use of social media, okay? And uh, just as I said earlier on, there is a whole lot of difference between cybercrime and abuse of technology. So what you're talking about now is abuse of technology. It's really not a cybercrime. As far as I'm so concerned. for cybercrimes mm -hmm. now, we've seen Nigerians in the news of late, even uh, very popular ones now, okay. uh, yeah, in the news of late with the FBI scam, which I know okay. you're mindful of. Okay. What's your perspective? Okay, uh, my perspective is that, uh, you know, I, I mentioned three areas where we need to control this talking about um, uh, the cyber criminals, the law enforcement agents, and those people that are the casualties. We wouldn't expect that the increased usage of um, mobile, mobile applications, um, telephones and all that, mobile phones, will not lead to increase in cyber crime, you know, because a lot of people are moving online, so definitely there's going to be an increase in it. But the, the problem is, we need to look at what exactly is the root cause of this. Now, we have um, a situation where we have uh, about 20-something uh, percent unemployment rate, about 30 percent youth unemployment. We have poverty. So, I mean, what else do you expect the youth to do? Again, we have a whole lot of um, um, social vices all around the place. So, I think we need to look at the root cause and then try to solve it from the root instead of looking at what are the, um, um, I mean, the presentation of, of these things. All right, well, that's a good uh, way to end this uh, conversation. Thanks mm -hmm. for your contributions. Thank you. Thank you.